Today, once again, we're here with Sean Bingham, Brian Probes, and Derek Hall, all founders, all have created successful companies. Sean and Brian have sold. They're slightly older than Derek and myself, so I can say that. We're soon going to be joining them in the, in the land of money and high rollers, however you want to say it. One yeah, day, we're rich. We're yeah. super loaded. Right? Super rich. Tell everybody, especially yeah. the good looking girls. Tons okay. of money. Yep. And in fact, what was it? Was it like a month ago you just sold your second company? Yeah. Sean? Yeah. It was about two months ago. We sold KZ, KZgear.com. It's a small brand. We do sunglasses, beanies, stuff like that. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you. Yeah. yeah great. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. All right. So today he's going to share his next new business idea. He's currently the CEO of Adventure Hunt. Yeah. And the idea is he's, he's too busy currently doing adventure hunt. So what's his next best idea? And he is going to share with you and then we'll provide feedback on that idea. And then you can run with that idea if you'd like. So let's get started. Thanks, Sean. Yeah, thank you. So the, the idea of, and I've actually thought about this for a while, this has been years in the making and I haven't done it. And I don't know, honestly, if I ever will, just because, well, I'm, I'm interested to see what you guys think, because when I've shared it with others, um, I've gotten mixed feedback and I'm guessing I'll get mixed feedback today, but this will be kind of fun. So there's a, a slew of dating apps, right? Like, first of all, dating like legitimately kind of runs the world relationships. Like, like it doesn't matter how big and important you are, how, how massive your job is. If a girl that you're into or a guy that you're into, if you're a girl or either one <laughs> calls you, texts you, whatever. And you're like interested in this person who's like hitting you up. People will like drop everything and anything to go and attend to that right so in my and that's why you see the match.com and the um you know the, the apps like tinder and bumble and all these that are just they're all successful right so i've thought and i'm 35 and single so i feel like i understand dating really well but i don't understand how to get out of dating and so it would be cool to like you know eventually get there but i feel like a huge problem is that a lot of people myself probably included go after those who they're not, they're just not a good fit or they're not in the same league. Okay. So here's my idea. Are you ready for this? This is where it gets controversial. This is where it gets controversial. So I want to create an app called date leagues and you are either a major leaguer, minor leaguer or a little leaguer. And, <laughs> and hear me out here. So, so maybe I'm a six, but I think I'm a 10. Okay people could help me understand like, Hey, like you're, you know, you're going to have a harder time. doesn't mean it's impossible. doesn't mean you can't go after a major leaguer, but it's going to be a little bit, you're, you're going to have a lot more strikeouts before you get that hit you've been looking for, you know? And so the idea is this, that on date leagues, you would, you would have a profile and you'd enter in all, it's not just based on looks. You'd enter in all sorts of information of, you know, your, your education level, um, you know, income, things like that. And you'd have ranges. So you don't have to put it at, you know, exact numbers or whatever. And then you'd have people that would go in it also characteristic, uh, traits of your, your character, right? Like your personality, you can describe yourself as funny. Like how often are you swiping on Tinder or Bumble? And I know you all do it. So don't pretend you don't. And, and a girl says, oh, I'm super adventurous and outdoorsy. And it's like, I don't know if she is or isn't because everybody says they are. And then you meet them and they're actually not right. So what if you had a, a, an app that had all these things that currently exist, but a little bit more robust where you're actually like saying like, look, I have a bachelor's degree from BYU and I make X amount of money. And you're just kind of like putting it out there, right? Like this is me, this is the real me. And I like to think that I'm funny. I like to think that I'm into sports. And then people that you know can anonymously, it has to be anonymous because you don't want to hurt feelings of your friends. But say, you know, say I say I'm like super funny. Well, John could go on and be like, he's actually not funny. Like on a scale of one to 10. I would 10, never say would... that though. <laughs> you're much funnier than I am. Unless I'm in the little league and you're in the next league up. Well, thank you. You could, okay, maybe Brian. Brian could say I'm not funny. No, whoever. But you could be like, you know, Sean is a, on a scale of one to 10. I'd, I'd give Sean a six funny. And maybe I thought I was an eight funny, right? So you get people anonymously ranking you on things. And, and again, thoughts that have come to my head are, well, you could get some haters going on and just like saying like, oh, this guy sucks. He always gets the chicks. I don't want him to get any more girls. So I'm going to say that he's like awful and everything. And they click, 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 click. So you'd have to find a way to like. That's what I would do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, but the idea is that you'd be, essentially you'd be given a score and I know it could hurt feelings. I know it could. I get that. But, but what, what hurts feelings worse? Like knowing like kind of like 
your lane that you should be heading down or like swiping right a million times never to see the it's a match come across well, because well, you're only maybe, swiping on people that are just out of your league. Maybe it's designed so that people don't actually see what league they're in. Yeah, that actually is a perfect idea. So as you don't know, you just eventually are shown, gosh, that's actually really smart. So You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you, you just, you just, that's actually great. I mean, it takes some of the funniness out of it, the date leagues, like seeing that you're a little leaguer and stuff, but it makes it a lot more so people actually would want to use it. Because yeah, then you might be a little insecure about if they're like a little weaker. They're yeah, like, seriously. Dang, I'm a four. <laughs> but the other idea is, and I don't know what the algorithms are for these things like Tinder and Bumble, but as you're swiping, like, first of all, the, the really super attractive girls are the ones that know how to make their profile look super attractive. They don't really, I, I feel like they're probably, and I don't know if it's the same for guys. Guys are a little bit more of the hunters, you know, by nature, I think. But I don't know how many girls that are like in that more, I hate to say elite kind of like echelon of like the best looking ones. But I don't know how many of them are really on there, right? Like they're not really swiping that much because they're probably just getting bombarded with, with direct messages on Instagram and Facebook. And, and they're probably every time they've ever swiped right, it's a match. But if you could find a way to like help them or anyone else who's at that like higher level, realize that they're not going to have to deal with like every single guy hitting them up. I think that could like revolutionize dating to where you look around. I look around like Utah County and a lot of the single people that like can't seem to figure out getting married. And I'm not necessarily putting myself in this category, even though I can't figure it out. But a lot of them that I look around at, you know, are like the best looking, most charismatic people. And somehow they can't find like a, a match for themselves. So in my mind, it's like, you know, all these people are out here and it's just like, we're all just spinning our wheels going nowhere. Anyway, so the idea is to like get people lined up to where, you know what, you don't have to, you know, Brian's a super good looking guy. He's super successful. He's probably going to want somebody who's good looking and successful and driven. Right. And, he, and that's okay. Like that's what he should go after. That's a good fit for him. So what if he could get on these, you know, some sort of dating site or an app and not have to sift through those that are just completely not a match for him in any way, shape or form. And same for girls. Cause I think a, a lot of these people, they just don't use the apps because they're just afraid of getting bombarded with people. They're not interested in at all. Does match.com solve some of these issues? I haven't been on match.com like since I was 16, Yeah, but it seemed like I haven't like either. 16? And I probably should before. Yeah. What were you doing? I don't match. <laughs> com at 16? Wow. I, think I said I was like 21. <laughs> I felt really rebellious. I paid like 10 bucks. I'm like, yeah, that's a lot of money. He's 18, right? Legally? I don't remember what it was. I lied about my age, possibly. Yeah. But like, I mean, they're collecting some of the data. That's, you know, different from the Bumble and the Tinder where you just mm -hmm. swipe if someone's attractive. The idea was there was other metrics that they try to rank you on. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, it, and that it, doesn't work or. So I don't know. I don't use match.com. I, I do have Bumble and uh, I actually don't have Tinder, but I have. Uh, there's one in, that mainly is in Utah. It's an LDS thing, but it's called Mutual. I use that in Bumble. So that's kind of my idea. I, I see that there's a very real problem with dating. I think I'm living it, actually. If I knew how to solve it, I guess I would be married. And so I'm trying to think of ways to solve it, not only for myself, but for others. And I think that a lot of people go after those that are just not a good fit for them. And oftentimes it's that they're out of their league. So I don't know. You, what do you think? Isn't there more of like a personal issue? I mean, does your app... Focus on people like me who think they're an 11 or a 12 and are probably like a 6.7. Yeah, that's exactly what it would do is you would slowly like just be like whittled down and you'd only be shown those that are also 6.7s or whatever you said. You know, I see you know, it's kind of interesting because I've thought about this, <laughs> mm -hmm. but because I use Bumble, I don't use Tinder, but Bumble was really great in the early days, but it's now it's kind of becoming overcrowded. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like anytime there's a new platform that comes out and it's not highly populated, there's it's not so overwhelming, right? Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's more of a failure of qualifying um, as opposed to, well, I guess we're kind of talking about qualifying, but yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking more of, a, instead of qualifying, like set your metrics, you know, I want these five things, whatever, and then you get these, I feel like there should be more time qualification. So like Bumble has a thing where it's like, she has to res you know, respond first, mm -hmm. send you a message and you can respond. If not, it goes away why not take it like a step further where it's like she, you know, she sends a message, you respond, and then she has to like, again, engage. If not, it goes away. So there has to be something like yeah. that creates urgency. So maybe each message that is sent only is good for 24 hours. 
Yeah. Otherwise, a message is sent, and then you wait six months, and then you can respond to it, whatever. Yeah. But then, like, the connection is lost, so, right? So, that's like, an, that's another big problem with Bumble is that they're in these forever conversa- text conversations. Yeah. So, forcing Absolutely. the urgency means if someone can't do it, then they're going to automatically drop or out. Or it could be like the third num- maybe the third com- the, the third message would be, you know, you you have to give a number. If not, then it goes away. So something that creates you know creates urgency and actually moves the relationship along, so to speak. Yeah. I guess. I like that. What if this, and then, and Derek, I know you had some thoughts. So I want to hear them, but another thing is, and I'm very guilty of this. And I think all guys are, and I don't know if girls are as much or not, but what if you had to like read the bio first before you could see the pictures? Like what if you had to like, yeah. like almost, you know, like when you scroll, like you have to like agree to terms on a website and like, you can't even click that you agree until you've scrolled all the way to the bottom. Oh, what if it was like that? Like you have to at least scroll to the bottom of the bio to even so, see the pictures. So people wouldn't read it still. They just have to scroll. Yeah, but you'd picture. probably get some people reading it and then they'd, you'd get a little bit less focus on physical attraction. I like it. But you're not known by actual characteristics. So it's not, yeah. is this person adventurous? Are they standing on a paddleboard or do they really go paddleboarding every week? Yeah, yeah. Do you know, do you know if there's any dating apps that <clears throat> match based on personality type? I, I don't. I'm assuming that Match.com, I don't know if 16-year-old John remembers. I don't remember. I mean, ask for my income and a bunch of things like that. 16-year-old <laughs> John verify his income. <laughs> what did you put for your income at 16? I think I probably put like 45, 50,000 at that, right, that's that point. That's a good amount. That's wow. a good job you had in high school. I didn't make that much. I didn't either. <laughs> so we're all lying, right? The truth's coming out. See, but the, the, that out. would be the key is you'd have to have people verify. Like you'd have to somehow get... People that know you can go on and anonymously say, yes, this is true. No, this is not. And then you'd know, like, as you're reading this profile, which you read before you see pictures, okay, I feel very, pretty confident that this guy's funny, that he makes 60 grand, that he, you know, whatever, whatever the things are that are on there. There is an app called, is it Raya in LA? I'm not sure. It's the one where you're, you're, it's like an invite only. You have to have two people that are part of it already invite you, but it's like, mm-hmm. we're supposedly like celebrities and models and like yeah. athletes are, but. Okay. So it's like the higher end. Are you on that app? Like, no, I'm not, to get unfortunately. On the app. You know, I'm just down here. Do you have to apply people. to be on it? Because that actually is another good idea for, for a dating app. You I think you can apply, apply but I think you have to know two people on it already. Like two, okay. you have to be referred. So it's kind of a, yeah. Because do you guys remember even Gmail? You had to get an invite from an yeah. existing Gmail user to get a Gmail account. I remember that. I was like, oh, I have to have Gmail because it was by invite only. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you could do the same thing for dating app, that could be big, but... Angel list the way they solve the problem. So I mean, still it's still peer to peer, but um, if you're an investor type, there was like two or three other people who had to physically authorize that they, through like a legal contract that this other individual is also an accredited investor. Hmm. And so maybe they'd have to create their profile. They could say, here's their you know revenue, or, you know I mean their income. But most, but I don't know if most people even know how much you make, Sean. So that might be kind of tricky. Or maybe you could. My, some of my closest friends do. Like some of my roommates do. My brothers do. Like there's people that know. And then they and then yeah. they could come through and validate it. Yeah. Or what if you could plug into like a Workday or a Taleo API to validate? I mean, I'm assuming those are people are using those for like payments or like Gusto to say, hey, this person actually makes this. Assuming that. Mo- yeah. I mean, but like that's just one category. Yeah. We should well, be digging other, for money, the though, right? The other thing is maybe it could, no, you don't want to be digging <laughs> for money. But the other thing is it can just be a range, right? Like, and it can be a pretty broad range, but it still gives people an idea. Like, okay, he makes between, you know. 75 and, a, and 99 999 or he makes 100 to 200 or he makes just 200 plus you could just end it there you know so millionaires don't have to say like yeah i have like 17 mil every year coming in you know um there's an app for that it's called seeking arrangements no seriously yeah, heard I, i've heard uh, of several of these types of apps we don't want to necessarily go no. you know <laughs> that route but um how do you but, find someone who's actually charitable so instead of all these other aspects like so for me one of the things that i do internally when i've gone on dates from bumble is like go on the date. I always pay for the first date, but I pay attention if the girl offers to pay. And if she doesn't offer to pay, the date's pretty much over. And then I'm kind of upset because then I'm like, well, I paid 50, 60, 70 bucks for a date to find find that out. Mm-hmm. But for me, that's really important for someone who 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 is thankful and who does offer. Yeah, yeah. The other, and you know what's funny too about dating, just on that same kind of train of thought is, and I think most of us are guilty of this, some more than others, but. You can, we always, we all, we all put our best foot forward as you should, but like, here's something, here's an example. Like I like dogs, but I'll be honest. I don't love dogs. I just don't like, I've not had the best experiences with dogs. Um, I'll be fine. Like if my kids and my wife really want one, but if it's just up to me, like I probably won't ever get one. Right. And so that's something that like some girls would be like, Oh my gosh, like I could never date you, you know? And that's fine. But 
what I'm getting at is what if there was like all these things that are on there and you could, you just avoid like kind of the pretending, like when you go down that path with someone who's like a dog lover, like I want to have 12 dogs in my house at all times. The chances of me being happy with that person are like really, really slim, right? Like if they have one, I'm cool with that. But, um, but, but if I like, where am I going out with this example? But basically like you have all these characteristics that you're listing about yourself and someone comes in and truly validates it. And then you can know like, okay, this person doesn't actually love dogs. You know, he says he does because he wants to get with me right now, but he doesn't actually love dogs. And his friend said so, you know, <laughs> something like that. Like, and, and that could be true of any type of personality trait, you know? And so you could come up with all sorts of questions. Maybe people could even ask like what questions are important to them. So then when their profile pops up and you see this total hottie, you have to answer questions. You don't know what her answer, dude, this is evolving as we're sitting here. Listen mm -hmm. to this. So, so say you're, say you're like swiping through and you see a girl that you want to match with. You want to swipe, right? That's kind of the, the thing, right? But you have to now answer questions. Do you guys remember singled out from MTV? Like way back in the no. day, Jenny McCarthy. I wasn't was allowed the, to watch MTV. So yeah, I watched it at my friend's house, but, <laughs> um, do you remember it for real? Okay. So they'd kind of do this thing where like a guy would sit behind a screen so he couldn't see anything or any of the contestants and all these girls or, you know, vice versa, whatever. And he would say, you know, he'd kind of have his list of things that he was kind of more like his type, you know, so oh, I kind of like, I prefer brunettes or I prefer if they're at least five foot four or whatever his things were. Right. And anyone that didn't fit that mold would like parade past him, you know, so he'd have to see everything he was missing out on just because they were like an inch too short or something like that, you know, and he could have one steal where he could like grab a girl and put her back into the contest or whatever. And then it would come down to questions that they would answer. So they would be, they would be given a question and then the answer to the question based on how they answered, they'd either, either move forward if it matched up with his answer or they'd move or they actually, they wouldn't move backwards. They just stay where they were. What if you had something like that in an app where it's like, do you love dogs? And maybe the person does, maybe they don't. If you, mar if you hit yes, then you know, this could be really cool, actually, you guys. I'm like well, it's kind of like trying how to formulate this as I go, but I like it. You know, how, like when you visit a place like a restaurant, and after you leave, Facebook says, "Hey, is this the address? Do they actually serve Thai food? Do they have Wi-Fi?" Mm -hmm. You could do the same thing with friends and also people who have previously gone on dates with you. Hey, does this person have a dog? Yes or no? And what if most of the information in the profile that someone is forced to see was actually written by everyone but you? Yeah, I like that. I like, I think that could be a great idea, but I think if you had to answer questions and I'm just making this up as I go, but this is my last idea. And then I'm, I want to hear Derek's feedback too. Cause, I, um, but, uh, so you see this profile and now you're saying like, okay, she's asking me if I, and you, you'd want to keep it less obvious. Like everyone's going to put that they like to travel. Right. But like you come up with three questions that you want to ask people. And if yours match up with theirs and maybe match.com is doing this on like a much higher level, I don't know. But most people, at least that I know, they don't want to go on match.com. I don't know who's using match.com. So that, that's kind of the idea. I just think that we need to solve the problem for is, is daily. Is the people going to have their feelings hurt? What do you guys think? Yes. No, maybe. I mean, the, the answer is yes, but dating sucks sometimes. Right. So let's like, let's have it hurt earlier on than, uh, rather than later on. And then you end up with people that you actually mm -hmm. are going to end up with. I don't know. All right. Well, thank you, Sean, for sharing your new business idea and join us again next time for Brian probes to share his. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.